Traffic Marshall Test 20 Questions and Answers Question 1. What is the purpose of a traffic marshal? A. To check all vehicles entering and leaving a site are roadworthy. B. To support the safe operation of vehicles and mobile plant on site. Or C. To prevent any accidents involving vehicles on site. The correct answer is B. To support the safe operation of vehicles and mobile plant on site. Question 2. What does this hand signal mean? A. Danger. B. Raise. Or C. Lower. The correct answer is A. Danger. Question 3. What of the following is the most effective way of reducing the risk of injury from vehicles on site? A. Vehicles having warning lights and reversing alarms. B. Using road signs. Or C. Separating people and vehicles. The correct answer is C. Separating people and vehicles. Question 4. What does this hand signal mean? A. Too wide. B. Start. Or C. Stop. The correct answer is B. Start. Question 5. The most dangerous manoeuvre when traffic marshalling is A. Reversing B. Parking Or C. Exiting a site The correct answer is A. Reversing Question 6. Do traffic marshals have to check that drivers understand hand signals before starting a manoeuvre? A. Yes B. No or C, it's up to the traffic marshal. The correct answer is A, yes. Question 7. When reversing, if the driver loses sight of the traffic marshal, what should they do? A, finish the manoeuvre they are carrying out then stop. B, continue at half speed. Or C, stop immediately. The correct answer is C. Stop immediately. Question 8. What clothing should traffic marshals wear? A. Very visible clothing such as reflective vests. B. A jacket with traffic marshal clearly printed on it. Or C. No special clothing is required. The correct answer is A. Very visible clothing such as reflective vests. Question 9. What does the HSE guidance on vehicles reversing say? A. Reversing should be carried out at 5 miles per hour. B. Reversing should be avoided altogether wherever possible. Or C. Drivers should have a UK licence before carrying out reversing. The correct answer is B. Reversing should be avoided altogether wherever possible. Question 10. Identify what this picture is. Is it A. Beach tennis bats B. Emergency stop signs or C. Carry bats used to make hand signals clearer The correct answer is C. Carry bats used to make hand signals clearer. Question 11. Which regulation requires traffic planning including the use of traffic marshals? A. The Provision and Use of Work Equipment Regulations, 1998 B. The Traffic Marshal Regulation, 1974 or C. The Construction, Design and Management Regulations, 2015 The correct answer is C. The Construction, Design and Management Regulations, 2015 Question 12. What hand signal is this? A. Connect Trailer B. End of operation or C. Traffic marshal at rest The correct answer is B. End of operation Question 13. Can a traffic marshal stop traffic outside of a site? A. Yes or B. No. Only the police or someone authorised by them can regulate traffic on a public highway. The correct answer is B. 
No, only the police or someone authorised by them can regulate traffic on a public highway. Question 14. What is the purpose of a one-way system on site? A. To allow traffic and mobile plant to move around more quickly. B. To avoid the need for reversing. Or C. To meet with current construction regulations. The correct answer is B, to avoid the need for reversing. Question 15. Which colour hard hat should a traffic marshal wear? A, white, B, pink, or C, black? The correct answer is A, white. Question 16. What is the best course of action when traffic marshalling close to overhead power lines? A. Ensure the power lines are dead. B. Don't work within two metres of them. Or C. Ensure the vehicle is earthed. The correct answer is A. Ensure the power lines are dead. Question 17. What is mobile plant? A. Trees in a storm. B. Wheeled or tracked equipment that can be moved around on site. Or C. Equipment which is being delivered on the back of a truck. The correct answer is B. Wheeled or tracked equipment that can be moved around site. Question 18. How should traffic marshals communicate with vehicle operators? A. By shouting from a safe distance. B. By waiting until the vehicle is at rest, ensuring the operator can see them and then approaching. Or C. Vehicle operators should not be spoken to. The correct answer is B. By waiting until the vehicle is at rest, ensuring the operator can see them and then approaching. Question 19. How should traffic marshal hand signals be performed? A. Without delay. B. Concisely and clearly. Or C. However the traffic marshal sees fit. The correct answer is B, concisely and clearly. Question 20. What does this warning sign indicate? A, multi-level car parking. B, high-sided vehicles. Or C, beware of moving vehicles. The correct answer is C, beware of moving vehicles. For traffic marshal courses, more practice tests and free guidance, find us on www.healthandsafetytrainingfirst.co.uk or call us on 0330 122 6126.